when you think of what does it mean to worship, I think you're right. I think sometimes it's that's, that's actual mm-hmm. singing. But I have had, honestly, so myself and as others as well say, it really is such a way of worshiping to serve alongside someone. Absolutely. It really is. Well, with more services. <laughs> There's more opportunities to serve. <laughs> there are lots of ways that you could serve right now. Yeah. Yep. You can serve inside as a greeter. You can serve outside as a parking attendant or at the outdoor service as a greeter. Mm-hmm. You can also serve behind the scenes. If you're not a person that wants to be up front and in front of people or greeting mm-hmm. people or um, just stepping out of your comfort zone just yet, yeah. we have some people that we need to help get the coffee, the ca- the cafe ready in the mornings. Yep. Also helping out with sound and audio for production team. All those things are behind the scene yeah. um, things that really we need, we need people to serve in those areas so that we're able to um, just serve everyone. Absolutely. And you've heard us talking in the past few weeks that kids space is opening up and that's true. It's going to be opening up in August. It's so exciting. You know, and it's a little bit more than even just reopening up, honestly, because if you've been with us the past seven years, you know Kids Space has been a mobile ministry at the Performing Arts mm-hmm. Center. So not only are we reopening, but we're basically remodeling this building. We are. I, I told Darcy this week that, you know what it reminds me of? I taught preschool for several years. It reminds me <laughs> of the teachers getting the classrooms ready yeah. for the students to come back because we've been out of this building for a long years. time, yes. and now you got to. There's some work to be done to get the the rooms ready for those those kiddos yeah. to come back. And we are excited. We are knocking down walls, paint, carpet, all the everything. Toys, <laughs> toys being clean, toys, toys, toys being organized. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So some specific dates will be coming soon, letting you know when we are ready to have those doors open. And we are so excited. And in order to do that, what we really need you to hear right now is that we need people. We yeah. need people to serve, to worship together, to link up and invest in this next generation. Absolutely, For kids to see what a healthy church looks like, to mm-hmm. experience the love of a church and to hear about the good news of Christ, yes. we have to have people to, to do that. Absolutely. Do you remember the first time you heard about how much Jesus loved you? I do. Hmm. I remember I was in a small church in South Carolina. My parents would always take me to Sunday school uh, before the adult service. And I was about probably seven or eight. Okay. Um, So I think maybe second grade. Yeah. Um, And I just remember the Sunday school teachers just pouring out Hmm. um, and just telling me all about the love of Jesus. And Hmm. I remember the the stories in the Bible that they would teach us. And um, that still is in my heart and it's in my mind. Yeah, I would, I have a similar experience in that I was young. I was five when I remember raising my hand mm-hmm. and saying, I want to follow Jesus. And so that's part of what we're saying is that we have this unique opportunity to share the love of Christ with this, yeah, with this next generation. Mm-hmm. And we are both honestly examples of what hearing that good news yeah. as a child can truly change what your life looks like. Absolutely. And so that's the heart behind what we're trying to do. And so this is a unique time. We're looking to open, to launch this ministry for children. And we need people. We do. But yeah. we also need prayer. Mm. We would love for you to join us and partner with us in prayer for mm-hmm. the kids ministry, for mm-hmm. um, the production ministry, for the worship ministry, but then also welcome team. We just would love for you to partner with us. Everyone mm-hmm. can pray, whether you're in person or you're home, you can join with us and pray. Yeah, absolutely. So are you ready? Are you ready to serve and put some feet to your face? Yeah. If so, the (laughs) next step is to go to Growth Track if you have not already done so. Mm -hmm. We have one coming up on August 8th. And so we are hoping we pack this out with Mm -hmm. people looking to serve. Absolutely. Now there's another one. We have two in August. We have two fast track growth tracks. So August 22nd, there's another one. But don't wait for that one if you can. We really would love, especially those who are interested in serving with children, to go ahead and go to that first one because it does require a background check and an application process because we make sure So there's a little little process with kids and with youth as well. Youth, you're right. So speaking of youth, (laughs) actually, we need the same thing for youth. We Mm -hmm. need some people to come out who are looking to serve um, the next generation. Come on Sunday Mm -hmm. nights. And it doesn't have to be every Sunday. It could be once a month or twice a month, whatever your schedule will allow. And we do respect boundaries around Mm -hmm. here. So let's put faith to our faith and let's link 
Strong Arms mm -hmm. and be a church and serve our church body, which includes everybody, college students coming back, kids, you trees. I'm so excited. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a really special time, and we'd love for you to be a part.